It's been described as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and ALS all rolled into one crippling condition. Huntington's disease attacks the brain. It affects one's motor skills, even their own self-awareness with reality. Though today, there could be new hope for thousands following a massive medical breakthrough, which scientists right here in Canada have played a vital role in. I'm cautiously optimistic that this could not only halt the progression of the disorder, but could lead to significant improvement in symptoms. Today's promising news is more than 10 years in the making. 46 patients from the UK, Germany and here in Canada have been part of an initial trial. The very first patient was treated in Vancouver in September of 2015 and the results have caught the world's attention. UBC's Dr. Blair Leavitt is one of the international researchers leading the way. This is the first time that a treatment in people has been shown to be safe uh, and has shown that it alters the levels of the abnormal protein that causes Huntington's disease. Those with the disease carry a mutation in the Huntington gene, which results in the production of a toxic protein that attacks the brain and nervous system. Basically means that parts of their brain just really stop working. They lose a lot of cognitive, motor, physical functionality, um, and it's really quite a horrific disease. There are not many uh, good days in, uh, when you have a neurodegenerative disorder. Dr. Kareem Nader is a neuroscientist at McGill University. Previously named one of Canada's top 40 under 40 by the Globe and Mail, Huntington's disease is attacking what many would call his beautiful mind, while also impeding his motor skills. It affects every every aspect of our life, right? Each time you're trying to board a plane to come back from a conference or go to a conference, all the uh, border agents are convinced that you must have been uh, drinking. There are times when I was going to be removed from the plane. It's a genetic disease. Children who have a parent with Huntington's have a 50-50 chance of inheriting it. The consequences are also fatal, with many dying from a list of complications, including pneumonia and heart failure. We've moved, we've advanced into a new era. We're now using all the information that we've gathered over the last 20 years and really targeting the causes of this disease. The next step is for phase three of the trial to prove the treatment, which is an injection into the spine, can stop the disease in its tracks. A step Dr. Kareem Nader will be taking part in, giving him and thousands of others hope for a promising future. It's like, a, I guess, a blessing, right? I guess if you believe in evolution, you, you don't say it's a miracle. But let's say it's a genetic miracle. Yeah, that, it's a genetic miracle. There's no word on when this next exciting stage of the clinical trial will begin here in Canada. We're told it will be announced in the very near future. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.